Hey guys, and welcome to another Photoshop tutorial here on psdvault.com YouTube channel. Uh, this is just a quick tutorial to show you how I sort of achieve this uh, uh, very interesting um, texturing effect uh, with the with the tree bark textures over this uh, uh, lady's face and uh, and also um, how I sort of manage to draw uh, this very uh, interesting uh, shiny uh, hair effect uh, on the top here uh, so uh, basically all this can be done uh, just in a few simple steps um, with the right settings and also with uh, a bit of uh, drawing skills um, yeah so let's just get started okay so just go back to the um, original the, um, uh, layered document um, as you can see now I've already done some uh, uh, some uh, prior work uh, just to cut out the face and also just to um, get rid get rid of the uh, the hair area uh, on the top um, so it's so now we just have a face and the eyes and and the uh, and the cheek so what we can do um, so basically we're just gonna apply the uh, the tree textures over this facial area now I'll just show you the layers that I have added on top of this um, face area so as you can see firstly I have a black and white adjustment layers on top so that just get rid of the colors and um, um, so um, that's the setting there uh, as you can see um, and on top of the um, black and white adjustment layer I have a um, levels adjustment layer um, which is under layer new adjustment adjustment layer uh, and levels now and also the black and white is also uh, under this um, under this menu so you can find this option here um, so um, basically the purpose of this uh, levels adjustment layer is to just to increase the uh, the contrast of the black and white color now I'll just show you this layer mask as well because that's very very important I'll just turn off the mask so you can see the effect without the mask so as you can see the, the without the mask uh, on this uh, levels adjustment layer uh, the the air, the eye areas just become basically just become a black hole uh, which is not the result we want um, so I used a, a soft eraser just to um, erase some of the um, uh, the levels adjustments that I applied so the eye area doesn't have, uh, doesn't you know appear as a black hole. Okay, so we also we can also add a, another curves adjustment just to further increase the the contrast, um, and that's the setting there. Uh, we have an input uh, value of eighty one, up to thirty four, and then here is the 166 and uh, 192 now you don't have to uh, apply the exact value as I did uh, and uh, you just it's, it's just a matter of experimenting with different settings um, and uh, just to find the best result uh, that you can achieve alright so after we've done all these adjustments we're gonna add the the tree uh, tree bark textures over the facial area. So basically, as you can see, um, I I created I basically copy and paste the um, the tree bark textures over the facial area. Now, the important thing is that we need to right click and uh, basically we need to set this. It says release click. Uh, clipping mask, but if you didn't do it, it would just say create click, uh, clicking clipping mask. Um, yeah, so basically that sets the layer 
uh, as a as a clipping mask to the layers below, so it doesn't have all the necessary unnecessary parts um, outside the facial area. And as you can see, I also used a, a soft eraser to just to tidy up the edges and just to fade also to f just to uh, create some more depths so the the uh, the textures uh, in the in the cheek area here is a lot uh, is just slightly um, less intense uh, compared with the uh, with the uh, with the uh, the textures on the top um, and also on the nose okay so we're gonna add, we're gonna add uh, some more adjustment layers just just to um, remove the colors of the um, of the texture but this is complete completely optional uh, you can leave the leave the the the, uh, the, the texture as it is uh, if you if you're happy with it but um, I did add uh, another three adjustment layers so once the black and white adjustment layer on top and that that will just basically get rid of the get rid of the the color of the of the tree texture and another levels adjustment layer and as you can see um, that increases the contrast and and then also uh, applied uh, some soft eraser tool um, if, in fact just to on, the, on this level adjustment layer uh, as the uh, layer mask and also I have a, um, a curve adjustment layer which is on, which, uh, which only applies to the to the eye area which is because I wanted to make that slightly um, stand out as from the rest but this is all optional uh, you can decide what what you want to do with it. Um, yes, yeah, so we now have a a tree um, uh, a, a facial a facial uh, effect as as showing here, um, and the uh, we wanted to add some uh, some shiny hairs uh, as what we saw in this final effect here. Now this is fairly simple. You can basically achieve this effect purely just by using the pen tool and the brush tool. So I'll just show you. So just create a new layer, and uh, we wanted to use the pen tool. So you hold down the Shift key and draw a few paths. Okay, so we wanted to hold down the control key now because we wanted to adjust the, uh, the control point a bit just to make that slightly uh, looks like uh, the uh, flying hair. totally up to you what you want the hair to look like uh, but um, yeah it's all about the control of the uh, of the curves yeah so I I think I'm pretty happy with that so I uh, wanted to click on the the brush tool I wanted to use just a, a, a 25 pixel and 0% hardness brush in this occasion and we want to set the the color to white. Sorry, the foreground color to white. And um, we'll we'll go back to the pen tool. And we want to right click and go to stroke paths. And make sure the tool is set to brush and tick the simulate uh, pressure option uh, and press OK. As you can see, you have a just a, a flowing effect as shown here. So can now we want to just just press the uh, the escape key twice, and um, 
so that would just basically get rid of the, the pen tool lines um, yeah so I wanted to just move that layer down below the model layer um, yeah so that that bit of the hair is just behind the behind the the, the hair area here um, yeah so um, basically we're just gonna duplicate this layer a few more times and uh, um, as you can see all this layer here that's um, the duplicated hair layer and make sure you just basically move them around and attach that to different different parts of the of the of the head and yeah that's um, that's pretty much it um, yeah so um, basically I I'd, um, I added some fires as the um, as the um, as the eye and um, but yeah so but uh, yeah that's that's just um, just sim a simple copy and paste uh, from a, a stock image uh, and um, that's my final effect here which we are, we are which is um, after the um, some of some further adjustments with the color and the contrast and um, yeah so that's pretty much it so um, just to um, emphasize some of the the key points uh, in, in this tutorial um, so f make sure when you when you apply the textures um, use the clipping mask option um, so it doesn't go over the edge and uh, the, the texture doesn't go over the edge um, and also make sure you use the pen tool um, to, to draw this hair and uh, just make sure when you stroke the pass um, when you stroke the pass make sure Make sure you tick the simulate pressure option and and uh, set the tool to the soft brush brush you just um, picked. Yes, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Uh, thank you for listening, and uh, we'll see you next time.